better get your sports straight. You better get you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Yo, don't hate the player, hate the game. Today, what are we doing? It's Monday. So you know what that means. It's another Monday Madness. And today we're making t-shirts and sweatshirts and t-shirts and sweatshirts and sweatshirts and t-shirts. A little bit different. We're not using a plastic heat transfer. We're not using HTV. What are we using? We are using these things called direct to film transfers. And I got these the other day. Uh, last video, I was creating these. And I got a good deal on them, but some of them I'm not going to use. There's a couple that I'm going to use, but the ones that I really wanted to use, I'm not going to use. It, they're okay looking, but they're not up to what I thought would have been a good... They're good transfers. They look good, but there's some ghosting on some of them. And the colors, the one thing that I'm majorly do not like about the what are they called there i like them but i don't like the company that i used is next day dtf next day direct to film transfer and the reason why i don't like them is because i'm not saying you use whatever you want maybe their printer ran into ink i don't know but this graphic right here is supposed to be flames okay it looks like flames and it says crusader skateboards this is like the original one and it's supposed to be yellow and orange to make it look like fire. It's basically trying to represent off of uh, the Thrasher logo. But my version with the skateboards, because that's what we do out here. We skateboards and make t-shirts. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We're doing the skate and destroy. Also, uh, my, my version of the Thrasher, skate and destroy. But we're from Tacoma, so we skate and destroy Com Tacoma. I thought I had enough of these to make like three, four shirts and a couple hoodies, but all I did was make two. The only, okay, this stuff, like it's cool. I'm gonna use a different company. I feel like this way right here is better than doing all the heat transfer vinyl. Yeah, do the vinyl if you wanna do the vinyl, but this right here is easier. The only, it comes on a big roll, crazy big roll, you cut them out. And you got a bunch of designs. So I have 20 designs on one big roll. I also have tag. We made some labels for the back of the shirts. We're doing it all. The QR code on the back of the shirt. So you got the QR code for the back of the shirt, of the labels, so you know. So if somebody asks you, oh, where'd you get it? Check it out, boom. You hit your phone on it, bam, you're on the website. Forevercrusaders.com. Don't hate the player, hate the game. We're out here doing our own thing. I'm gonna do a hoodie and a t-shirt. And I have a white, another, I was going to do the Skate and Destroy one on a, a hoodie and two t-shirts, but I can only do it on a hoodie and a t-shirt. So I'm going to do my hoodie and my girlfriend picked out a pink shirt. So we're going to do Skate and Destroy on the pink shirt. We'll see how this lays down. And another thing that I don't, don't go find another company to use them. But the one thing that I don't like about this one, yeah, the, the color ran out of ink or whatever. They're probably going to lay down fine. First of all, they didn't leave instructions of the pressure or the time or the heat that you're supposed to use on your heat press. Two, I ordered samples so I can make some sample t-shirts and put them on the website and not waste, you know, a lot of my own transfers that I use. I'm basically making the full catalog for the website right now. But I'm saying if somebody wanted to know what it feels like, I could press a bunch of different ones on one t-shirt. Be like, hey, this is what I offer. I offer this, this, and this. Cool. But I didn't get the samples. So that's one thing. I didn't get the, the instructions. Even though I have instructions from a different company that I'm going to use. And I feel they're all universal instructions. Some of them say, you know, cold peel, hot peel. But this one I'm probably going to leave to be a cold peel. And just see what happens so here we go this is my first time well my second time doing this but this is my first time actually doing it not as a 
an example or a sample or a practice. This is actually a real run of t-shirts and sweatshirts. So let's see if this actually works out to the way that I think it's gonna work out. It's always the same screen printing, heat transfer, DTF. It's all the same. Screen printing, you do it backwards. You know, you put you you load the shirt on this way. So if you're loading the shirt on the press on the on the screen printing press, you want to do it like this. We have it all out here. We do it all out here. So if you're doing a hoodie sweatshirt or something, you want to do it backwards. Bam. I'm not gonna thread it on to my my platen right here, but you you would thread it. You'd put your fingers here or your hands here. Bam, bam, wham, bam. You gotta make those noises too. If you don't make those noises, you're not doing it right. Boom, boom, and you throw it on, and then you do it like this. And then you line it up, and then you screen print, okay? Heat press, the heat press over here with the heat transfer vinyl, the Plastisol heat transfers. Now, the DTF, this is mine, this is not yours, so this is what I do, okay? Same exact process of doing the screen printing, but then you just want to take it from corner to corner lift the hood back you know make sure everything is straight everything is straight and you lay it down corner to corner make sure everything is out of the way wham bam thank you ma'am and the reason why you know that your sweatshirt or t-shirt is straight if you get it from the store if you get blank clothing from the store or blank clothing from a website or wherever you get your blank, blank clothing from there's always a faint center line on the shirt right here I have one of these you get a ruler it should be three and a half down or just a four finger width so we're on a four finger width right there four fingers from the collar to the graphic and if you don't have one of those things it's about three and a half inches down, four inches down. It just depends how big your graphic is. Now I'm gonna read the instructions on the other ones to know what I'm doing. I forget if I use a Teflon sheet or no Teflon sheet. I just wanna read to make sure I'm doing this the correct way because I don't wanna ruin these ones because these are actual real runs and this is the first actual time that I'm actually doing this type of transfer. There we go, boom. 15 seconds pretty cool to the touch it just doesn't want you don't want it to be hot hot okay that's how it works I'm gonna press it one more time that's just me that is really not that bad looking I'm gonna press it one more time just because that feels like a hand like screen printed water-based ink type of deal doesn't look that bad I'm gonna press it one more time just to make sure that I know that it's in there and that's hard on camera it looks pretty solid so if it looks solid on camera and solid from far away it's not what do they say if you can't see it from a gallon of horse don't try to fix it good from afar so if it looks good from afar get down with the get down but a little hitter like that that's dope too by itself look how cool that is two of them that I'm not going to use obviously these ones because they're supposed it's supposed to be yellow not this well it's supposed to be orange and yellow not this oranges color in the background and when I'm saying about ghosting do you see the white I don't know if you can see the white outline around it I really don't like, like I did a lot of research on these and I think I just I got a backyard dude a dude with is not in the garage his garage or what like mine but I'm, I'm more professional but some people just buy these printers 
and think they, I don't know, and maybe he ran out of ink or just didn't know how to use the right deal. He didn't use, see right here, we're going to do this for example. He didn't know how to use, I feel he just put this in a, a program on the internet and he tried, tried to get all the white out. So my thing was, I talked to the dude on the internet chat on his website and I told him, hey, is it transparent like you're doing a transparency for screen printing? He was like, yeah. And I said, okay, well I need all the white knocked out because a negative, you print it out like a negative when you're doing screen printing. So that's my brain is screen printing. So this one right here, the one what I was gonna wear and promote my stuff, custom t-shirt printing, streetwear, lifestyle, skateboarding. You can't even barely read it. And it says forevercrusaders.com on the bottom. He didn't knock out any of the white. There's like little bits and pieces knocked out, but he didn't do a good job. That's what I'm saying, it's sloppy work. Some, the, 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 the graphics that I'm using turned out good. The ones that I wanted to use, like the Crusader Skateboard Flame one, this one to promote what I'm doing. And what's another one? I don't know. They're, they they look good. From a naked eye, from the naked eye, you probably wouldn't know. From somebody that doesn't do graphics, somebody that doesn't do t-shirts or sweatshirts or drawing or anything, that probably wouldn't know. But I know. I've noticed. It's not my first rodeo putting graphics on t-shirts. I've been doing it for at least... 16 years now 15 years now yeah like 15 years i've been doing it i've been in the game for a very long time maybe it was me i don't know user error i, I sent him an email saying that your colors and stuff were off and you're ghosting on the things it's not or do these transfers need a white background i don't know i'm not that educated in the transfers but there's a place around town, well not around town, in Bellingham that I'm gonna call and ask. Call, like have a one-on-one -on -one conversation instead of the internet and texting all this stuff. Because sometimes in texting and emails and communicate, there's lost communication all the time in those things. So I, just, I wanna have a one-on-one -on -one phone call with somebody that does this stuff and I need to know, does it need to have a white background? Does it need to have that white ghosting line around it? I don't know, because the ones that I watch on YouTube and got the information from and trying to figure out how to do this the correct way, it seems, most of those graphics are super dope looking. These are cool looking, but they could be 10 times better than they are, because that white outline. You can't see it unless you look at it, but I know the white outline and that white line is there. I got a bunch done off camera. My battery died, so I was like, you know what? Let's just get some done. I did a PNW Fresh hoodie. Look at how cool. It, they turned out really good. This turned out good. This West Coast one on blue turned out really good. I also have one over another West Coast one with white. And now we're gonna put the tags in the back. I said before, we got the hat press. It's on, 300. We got it going. We got the, the tag with the QR code in the back. So people wondering where you get that, just hit that off. I also was thinking about putting the QR code somewhere inside the shirt. Like if you flipped it up, QR code is right here on the inside of the shirt. So when you're, somebody wants, hey, where'd you get that shirt? You just flip it over. They hit the QR code, forevercrusaders.com. We're in there. I'm gonna press this first. I'm gonna press this first just because I want it to be hot. Not hot, but somewhat heated to where this sticks good. Cause this is my first time ever doing this too. 20 seconds countdown look at how good that turned out the tag you hit that code wham bam we're in there forevercrusaders.com all right this is what's going down we did the neck labels i had to stop and take a break because it got it's 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 sunny holy cow 
See, I can't talk. It's sunny outside, but it's kind of cold. So that's why I had to put, well, it's really warm in the sun, but it's really cold in the shop. So that's why I had to put on another beanie and another jacket. And I look like I'm walking in the mountains in Alaska. Check it out, I cut two boxes. So these boxes are actually for the post office and I have a whole bunch of boxes. So I cut two of them put together and made a little backdrop. But I used to have a backdrop right over here and a backdrop over here. It's just been a lot of storing stuff in here for a while because I haven't been printing shirts, but now we're back at printing shirts and making stuff and doing stuff. I have to clean and organize out here so we could put a backdrop because I have a thing right here for t-shirts to put on little half torso to take a t picture and I you know I got it all out here so why not use it so make do with what you have don't hate the player hate the game and if somebody tries to tell you what's up that's what you gotta tell them we're out here Monday and Friday and every day in between so I guess that's it t-shirts are done website is updated I double dog dare you to go check it out.